Good morning. Well, the garden season is wrapping up. This is first week of October. Well, maybe the second week. <laughs> and I haven't noticed any hummingbirds around my feeders or my plants, so they may have gone. But I plant these uh, cypress vines deliberately for hummingbirds because they love them. And I want to show you the colors that come in. Here's a red one and a white one. There's another color. It is so funny, when I first planted these, this pink color that I'm trying to find, there was a lot of them. Now it's predominantly the white with a few of the red. I don't see any of the pink anymore. Let me go around this side. This plant, this moss plant, oh, I think that might be more of the pink. Yes, there it is, goodness. I'm gonna have to save the seeds on that one, make sure they get planted around here. It pretty much shelf seeds every year fills this up by about august the first all this eight by eight area the fencing i do grow beans in here because they have time to produce as much as i want until the cypress vines take over so that's really good i love having these they're a tropical vine from central south america here's some more of them inter interspersed with the beans those are the japanese winged beans and uh now here's what happens they can seed easily and they do they intersperse themselves among other plants which I don't mind because they're so easy to pull up and I don't care what grows over here <laughs> with the birdhouse gourds look at those it's kind of big ones my first attempt not too bad so let's go around back here and see what is back here oh I think I see some more I'm definitely going to have to get the seeds of these. Otherwise, they'll just fall on this rubber mat right here and they won't, they won't be able to come out. I've got to do some cleaning around the yard, pick up things. I've been so busy gardening that I haven't kept everything going everywhere else. There's the three together. Gorgeous, aren't they? So the bees, I mean the hummingbirds, when they come in there and they feed, they also are pollinating. Which I didn't realize that. I should have, but I didn't. So they grow, they're growing clear over here. So you have to consider it if you decide to plant these, you have to pull them up. They're real easy. Even when they're adult, you just pull them up and they're, that's it. But they do reseed extremely easy. You don't have to replant them as long as you don't disturb the soil after they seed. So I'm gonna go over here to another plant that I grow for the hummingbirds and it's this way let's go over here we've been uh <laughs> trying to keep the grass from growing around that um what is it an entryway into the septic line i believe that's what that is and we surround it like that so we don't run the lawnmower over it so i put the cardboard there to kill that bermuda grass because it was growing up through that cement and i don't know which is worse the bermuda grass or the cardboard We've been trimming trees again. It's a never ending battle, let me tell you. Okay, here we go. Now these are purple hyacinth beans. They're edible, but if you uh, have dried or mature beans, you better cook them really good, twice I think. Boil them, drain them, whatever. Heat kills the uh, cyanide-like properties that the mature uh, beans have but other than that they are edible I believe even the leaves are edible too but look it up before you do anything and of course these are for the hummingbirds these beautiful purple flowers aren't they gorgeous they don't have much longer because the frost is going to come pretty soon and kill them but here they are now these again are sort of like the cypress vines they bloom a little bit late maybe july august kind of late in the season so it really i think there's only four or five plants there <laughs> and look at it it's spread so here's the overall view it's really pretty I, I like it i think it's decorative i don't grow them to eat if i had to i would okay let's go to another Thing that I oh yes 
I grow cypress vines in another area that I want to show you. Hold on, let's walk over there, past the burn barrel over here. It's really close. These are just my main hummingbird things that I grow just for them. These, I like the way they grow. Now, the cypress vine, it likes basically full sun and sort of moist ground. This is partial shade over here and it does okay, but it doesn't bloom as profuse, profusely as those around the eight by eight, but it does pretty good. So again, I amend my soil and I have other bulbs planted down in there. I amend my soil before the seed pods drop because I want, I want it to reseed. I don't want to cover it up. All right, let's go to another area. Okay, so this is the honeysuckle on a different part of the property. It came in, it was wild. It's probably just that common yellow honeysuckle that you see everywhere. And we wondered if we should let it grow. I think if we decided not to let it grow, we should have taken care of it when it was one plant because it's going everywhere. I don't know what it's going to do to the wooden fence. It may tear it apart. I don't know, but I think we're gonna leave it. We're tired of pulling plants up and let someone else handle the fence. You know, we won't be here forever, so someone else can deal with that. That may be a mean thing to say, but you know, so much is so much. So the blooms are all gone. Oh, that is a tree right there. I'm gonna have, we are gonna have to cut that out. We do draw the line at trees growing in the fence. I wish the blooms were on there. I didn't know they dropped off so soon. Is this one? Nope, I don't think so. That's a leaf. Well, anyway, that honeysuckle feeds the hummingbirds too. Now, one more thing. Hold on. Pink willow tree. And I don't know if you can see it way above there. There is a cypress vine growing in the weeping willow tree. It makes it look, look like it has red blossoms. <laughs> My sister lets it grow there every year. She likes it. It's real easy to handle. So let's go down here and look at the base. There it is. There's the, whoops, sorry. Oops. Keep my fingers out of the way. There's the vine growing up the tree. So if she wants to, she just pulls it out by the roots and it's so easily. Her Swiss chard grows really good around the base of the willow tree. This is her little area where she gardens. So the hummingbirds get to go up really high to get their food. We really enjoy seeing them. We have two kinds here, kind of a green looking hummingbird and then the ruby throated one. Oh yes, there is one more thing. And here is my last flower that I like grow deliberately for hummingbirds. I think, they try to get the nectar. I'm not sure. I read somewhere that they can only get it from red uh, morning glories, but I don't know. I grow it anyway. I'll do more research on it and see if, if uh, they can drink nectar out of these things. You would think they would. It's trumpet shaped, but it grows on the fence voluntarily every year. It recedes. So I like it when plants recede. <laughs> well, that's it for the morning. You guys have a really great morning and say bye to the hummingbirds for this season.